Going into turn one later in the day, almost blinding sun right in your face. One year in this race, we had an 11 car pile up that totally blocked the front straightaway in the closing laps of the event. Well, in this series, the champion has already decided for 99. That's Kurt Busch. But look at second and third are separated by only 10 points, fourth and fifth by just 21 markers there, or 23 points fourth to fifth. Let's go down and meet the fellow who will be the 1999 champion. He's with Glenn Jarrett. Well, Mike, Kurt Busch has already wrapped up the season's championship, but there's something else he's done, too, that he has won the last four consecutive Southwest Tour races. That ties the all-time record for touring series. Kurt, if you win one more, you got the all-time record for all of NASCAR touring series. You start 11th, can you do it? It's going to be pretty impressive for us to pull this one off today, but i got to thank the crew of Star Nursery Racing. This Chevy, we're going to try to do good today, four in a row. It's pretty remarkable. We've been pretty lucky, though, getting a couple breaks here and there, but we're going to see if we can go to the front today. Well, I tell you what, if past experience is anything, he can, Dick Burke. 35, David Stremme, third, and big trouble down the front straightaway. And those cars that are coming in there right now can see absolutely nothing. That's directly into the sun going into turn one there. Visibility is horrible. And our champion, Kurt Busch, is in it. There's number 18, John Baker. He got a part of it. See a lot of damage, a lot of tire smoke coming off uh, both sides of Baker's car. Well, let's move the rear end housing over in that car and it's rubbing the... Oh, my, look at the right rear corner on this car. You talk about torn up. Well, Kurt Busch will not win his fifth consecutive race today. Getting set to climb out of the number 90 with six wins over the season. He is the 1999 Featherlight Southwest Tour champion, but it looks like his race is done down here in the first corner. And Jeff Ward, the motocrosser, there's, uh, there's Jeff Ward's car, number 21. He's also involved in it. Yeah, you can see him mashing half the steering wheel there. He's talking to the crew. That's all in the your communication there. I say motocrosser, but Ward, of course, now is an Indy car star in the Fat Boys Indy Racing League. Made his name in motorsports, uh, though. In motocross. Well, it's a tough way for Kurt Busch to end the season. I hope he'll look at celebrate at the banquet, though. So let's show you what happened. There's Kurt Busch, a wave to the fans, and uh, his season is finished a little prematurely here at Phoenix. But he will be the champion and uh, will not set a record for the most points in an 18 race season. But here is from his in car. Mike, you can see visibility. I was talking about this earlier. You can't see a lot. Oh, he got tagged from behind. That turned him right around. And Dick Bergeron is with him. Well, that's a tough way to end what had been a spectacular season. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I just and I hate it to, for the crew. We, we had to gamble on that pit stop. The car was so bad after we changed right sides. Came in, made the fix. The car was good for a half a lap or so. Then we ended up in the melee. Just got to thank Star Nursery for the great year they gave me. Craig Q, the crew, it's a pretty awesome win for a row. And thank you for a great year you gave the fans. Great job, Mike. Well, Ron Hornaday's record stays intact of 2,774 points in an 18 race season. And you see here, there are four cars already wrecked as we pick it up on replay here. Well, Mike, now you just look at that. Where would you go if you were heading down through there? And we have a better view than they, down there, absolutely no visibility. You just go for the lightest part of the smoke.